Hello there, I am Ümit Alkuş. In this video, we will solve one problem in chapter 24. Calculate the potential energy of the system shown in the figure. The electric potential energy of the system is calculated as the sum of the all possible potential energies between pairs. The formula is the following, u equals sum over i greater than j k times qi times qj over rij, where rij is the distance between qi and qj. Anyway, if we label the charges as 1, 2, 3 and 4, then q1 is negative a, Q2 is positive 2e, Q3 is negative 3e, and Q4 is positive 4e. And the distance between Q1 and Q2 is R12, and between Q1 and Q3 is R13, between Q1 and Q4 is R14. Let the distance between Q2 and Q3 be R23 and between Q2 and Q4 be R24. Finally, let the distance between Q3 and Q4 be R34. According to the figure, the system can be represented as a square, where each length is A. Therefore, the diagonal length is square root of 2A. Thus, R12, R23, R34 and R14 are A and R13 and R24 are square root of 2A. So, according to this configuration, the potential energy of the system is obtained as the potential energy between Q1 and Q2 plus the potential energy between Q1 and Q3 plus between Q1 and Q4 plus between Q2 and Q3 plus between Q2 and Q4 plus between Q3 and Q4. R12, R14, R23 and R34 are A. Also, R13 and R24 are root 2a. If we put the numerical values into this equation, we can take the common term k times e squared over a outside. And the remaining thing is or simply Then calculation gives k times e squared over a times negative 24 plus 11 over square root of 2. Now we can put the numerical values into this equation. As a result, we obtain the potential energy of the system as negative 1.24 times 10 to negative 25 joules. B. What is the work required to assemble the system by bringing charges from infinity one by one? As you remember from the lectures, the work to assemble the system by bringing charges from infinity one by one is equal to the potential energy of the system, that is, approximately negative 1.24 times 10 to negative 25 joules. Okay, this result brings us to the end of the discussion of this problem. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.